Right, hi guys. Um, this is actually the 9th and the 10th because I'm not happy after the video I put up yesterday of the insults I got off people. Um, I have researched about it, about the food bank, before anyone did start. And there's a lot of videos on fit YouTube that people have put videos off food bank and what they got. Now I'm going to hear, explain a few things before you judge me again. Right? I am not doing this for you. I am doing this for other people so other people know the support what they can get and if their money have been taken off them and then they know they'll get the support which is going to help them in the long run and it's helping me, right? And today I've had a totally busy day, busy day. I've got paid today and I had to go pay my armor bills which I paid up to scratch. I've paid me Fagman off and I've paid um, gas and my electric off paid my uh, bright house off so that's the reason why i can smoke every week is because i get fags off my fag man who i know very well and i don't deal with people who i don't know and he's been a very good friend to me and helps me out with my fags and stuff and another thing i'm going to explain is about my booze so don't comment down below say like that at me you listen to me for once because I am getting sick and tired of people judging me for no apparent reason at all just because they oh, they're better than the, uh, other people I do not judge people. I do not judge people for working. I do not judge people who are gay. I do not judge people who are disabled. I ex and I do not judge people who are a different colour. I accept them for who they are. Because that's the type of person who I am. And there's not many people like me who's left on this earth. But, I will say this, with my booze money, I keep it with my shopping money every fortnight, right? I didn't go to um, Morrison's like I normally do, I went to Iceland instead, got delivery in, which I got most of my food what I needed, but I have to go back again tomorrow, which I've got a little bit of money left tomorrow to go and get some stuff what I thought I got. And... I've got the money back for my booze for Andrew to go and get for me. And so, and whatever I have left in the fridge for the following week, I usually, usually drink it. And then I work out the money for a bottle of shorts, and then I work out for money for getting some other shorts, and that's how I work my money out. As soon as the bills are paid, as soon as the rent's paid, the rent is paid from today. Because the rent goes to my dad because my dad's garotor of the house. So I do it that way. And I've always done it that way. Even at my old house I did it that way. And I've, paid, I've got the rent paid today which my dad's coming tomorrow with my son Marcus. For Andrew's birthday sesh. Now, and I'm going to tell you now guys how it fucking is. Yes, I may swear. Because I was upset yesterday. Totally. So I'm going to tell you now. I don't want no one upsetting me tomorrow. Nobody on YouTube. Nobody on Facebook. Because I want to enjoy myself. Chill out. Like I've been talking to people today guys in the town. Who are actually working. Who the people behind the tills. Who are actually working. Right? And I was talking to them and I was telling them about the problems. What I get 
on YouTube and the problems of my internet life and how people judge me for drinking and boozing and smoking because I went to the food bank yesterday and they said well that's not right I said yes I know it's not right and they turned around and said and I said I actually turned around to them and said I will never judge you if you were if you came out for a drink with me I will never judge you because by an, by the end of the day a person who works a person who doesn't work is entitled to have a drink and I don't see what the problem is. I am not harming anyone for having a drink. I'm having a drink at home where it's safe. And I... Guys, you, you just wind me up so much. Do you know what I mean? You just wind me up so much. And I just want to show people that they can do this that they can have support that they can have chill out time that so i'm not supposed to smoke i am not supposed to drink i'm not supposed to do anything so i just sit on my backside all day oh no if i sit on my backside all day i'll probably get called a lazy cunt well that's wrong because today I have done what I've done today and I'm, I'm not finished yet. I'm just going to have a kip this afternoon because I'm going to do my washing up, get my kitchen sorted, ready for tomorrow. I've already ordered a new cooker from Bright House to get delivered on Tuesday because I need a new cooker. Because I've been sick of waiting for one off the landlord. Because I'm thinking about the health and safety of me. Because I'm always burning myself off the cooker. Look. This is what it's doing to me as also. That's eczema as well as burns. That's eczema. Stress. You don't realise what you do to a person. Have you been on the benefit system? Have you signed on? I signed on years ago. Before I got married to my first husband. I signed on years ago. But when Marcus came along, I couldn't do the job seekers bit. So, because Marcus was say, had problems. And so I had to look after him and saw that when John died it was like too difficult for me and I had to look after him but I still signed on and they said they actually turned around to me because I still remember it because it was up on Woodlands Road the job or job centre and I still remember it to this day because they said, turned around to me and said, oh, do you know it? You can go on income support. I said, what? I've never even heard of that, which I didn't at the time. And I, uh, I didn't even know what income support meant because when we got learning disabilities, so they explained it. They said it's similar similar being on the sick, but you can still do job see seekers in a bit, but you don't do it as often. And you don't have to come in to sign on. And I said, well, yeah, that'd be brilliant because that's like, I don't have to get up early to sort my son out and that uncle rush down to the job centre. And because with him, with him having back problems, my son, I had to put a brace um, thing round him. And so it, it took all my time to look after him, even though I had support of my mum and dad as well. But um, I did look after my son, and I know I did look after my son, but I don't want people judging me for what I do and how I enjoy myself. I just don't want people judging me again.
but I did have on the high note I'm going to finish with that subject but I don't want people judging me guys I've had enough of people judging me and I'm only doing this for support of other people if they've had their money took off them to show them what they can get and to me that's not wrong that is not wrong I mean yesterday when I was in the food bank I overheard some, some guy talking and he said he worked but he's on very low income and um, he said all, my, all his money goes on to the rent, the bills and to the kids and I thought see it's not only me who's struggling it's other people who are struggling out there so even even when they're working they're struggling and you know what I mean guys it is a bad world what we live in at the moment but on the high note as I was saying right guess what random shit has got me a caring and he delivered it to my door yesterday there is a video on his channel how he delivered it and it's I was I was so happy and random people want to get these man <laughs> we'll have to get some or you know, you'll have to make some and actually I want to do a caring for my huge meet and greet I want to caring with me and Ozzy there and then written my little autograph which I am going to get started I'm going to get round to doing it and it's just finding the money to do it because there's a place in the town where they do key rings and mugs and t-shirts and things with photos so I'm just like asking about how much they are and but I am very stoked and very happy that I've got caring of random and because he said he got, had a present for me to cheer me up and it has cheered me up a little bit but I'm still upset and stressed with what's gone on with the bullying situation on my, on this channel so in my view guys do not watch me if you don't want to watch me don't have to watch me but don't leave a nasty comment because my family and friends when they see that comment, they inbox me and they tell me. Do you know what I mean? And it upsets them. Because you're not only upsetting me, you're upsetting other people. So all I'm saying, guys, just back off. Don't watch me. Just change over the channel, as you say. And that's it. So I did treat myself to something today because I did have a little bit of extra money today and I trekked myself to a CD and nice top and a dress because I'm going to support Gay Pride on Monday I think it is Gay Pride on Monday so I'm going to support that because I have friends who are gay and there's been a, um, a person who's died from Darlington who, who who's like gay gay and I knew him, so I want to support him, support for that as well, support his friends. So, because there's going to be a big event on Monday where they're going to release some balloons for him. Um, so I'm going to try and get a balloon tomorrow. Um, that's about it, really. <laughs> so, then my my few days. Yeah, so you can tell I'm still a little bit tired stressed and upset but i just want to chill out there tomorrow because i'm absolutely buggered now and i'm getting tired guys i'm getting tired with all the stress and i really got upset yesterday on video and i just feel like i can't carry on sometimes and but i know i have to i've got to do it for other people so that's the thing and I've got to do it for my son. So be cool, be happy, stay tuned. Hells Bells, Rock Chick Adams. Boom. And love you guys.